raising venture capital is worse than marriage. And the reason I say that, I'm very happily married, and I've only been married to one woman my whole life, and I hope that always is the case. Um, but in marriage, if things don't work, in this country, you can get divorced. You can't get divorced from your venture capitalists. And people want to come to me. They've never met me before. They want to come in, and in two weeks or a week, they want to decide whether or not to take money from me. I'm like, why would you do that? You don't know me. And you don't know what it's like to work with me. I mean, don't you want to get to know me if you're going to marry me? Because I could bury you. <laughs> I could make your life miserable as a VC. I, I've done six investments in the three years I've been a VC. I've done nine angel deals. I think those 15 people would say that there's some positive, there's some negative. I hope they would say the positive uh, outweighs the negative. Um, but all that's discoverable. Spend time getting to know these people and don't rush into it. And I always say to you, every VC, and I'm off topic here a little bit, but every VC is going to give you the list of the five uh, portfolio companies you should call. And of course, you have to call them. But make sure you call the other five that they didn't give you. I mean, I'm sure they've taught you here about selective bias. You know, they're not, I mean, if they give you five CEOs and they don't all say this is the best firm I've ever worked with, then definitely don't work with that firm. Um, but you, it's not that hard to research who else they worked with, and that's where you ought to put your effort into due diligence. I think it's a fi false dichotomy. If you want to raise small amounts of money and preserve options, focus on angels. If you really want to build something big, there are pros and cons of angels and VC. Angels in a bad market tap out really quickly and are not able to follow on as easily. VCs who put in money and you don't prove what you were supposed to prove for your first 500K, writing the next 500K is not that painful. It's different with angels. Sometimes VCs get involved very early and then they don't spend time with you. And if they decide not to fund you, there's this thing called signaling that we need to worry about. And it's true. If they don't support you, life becomes harder to raise capital. There are pros and cons of both these. It's not, it's not that easy.